And today, people were piling into the Barnes Air National Guard base for the Westfield International Air Show. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith has why this was such a big day. I just can't wait to see the first plane come by and see how loud it is. Thousands of people from all over went to the Westfield International Air Show to see military aircraft performances at Barnes Air National Guard Base. Jay Hulse says he came to check out the military aircrafts and learn about its history. We wanted to come and check it out for the first time and so far it's definitely not a letdown. Aaron Gladstein from Connecticut brought his mom to the air show for Mother's Day. He says it's important to have air show events like this. I think it's really important to see what all our hard work and a lot of tax dollars are going into, uh, especially to see, you know, all the different uh, uh, machines that we use to help people. At the air show, visitors were able to see military trucks, the U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team, the aftershock jet truck, and several different jets. People also learned how the jets and other aircrafts operate and went into the F-35 simulator to see what it's like. According to the Air Combat Command, the F-35A Lightning II is the U.S. Air Force's newest fifth-generation fighter. Brenda Gorno goes to air shows every year, but this is her first one in Massachusetts. She says she loves watching all of the military jets. Oh my gosh, F-35. <laughs> F-35. Um, I love the F-15s. They're going to have F-15s here. Most of the military planes. This event went all weekend long, featuring several different military jets, planes, and helicopters. Working for you, Kiara Smith, 22 News.